passing play on the rope. Lots here comes some pressure. Here comes some pressure by the Indians. Number 11's in there and uh, causes that thing to be thrown out as El Fiki. Adam El Fiki in there. John Knee split out here far right side for the Pioneers. Oh, loose ball in the backfield. And the Indians uh, put the pressure on and Linfield is really thrown for a, quite a loss that time as it was a bad, bad snap. That's Quarterback. The, that's the kind of stop they needed, Frank. Pitch over here to the left side, coming around the end is Ryan Foley. Foley looking for some That's blocks, cuts in. back, and he goes into a nice 10 yard gain here by number 14, Ryan Foley, as he did a Second round, I'm sorry, in about, uh, still about 10. Dupree calling signals. Looking to pass, rolling out to the right side. Gets a block, he's gonna keep it running. Heading out and gets in there. That's Looks the like another down. first down by Jared Dupree. Gets the handoff right up the middle. Doucette going, still on his feet, still going down inside the 10 to about the five yard line for the Indians. Beautiful run. Right up the gut. Set in the backfield. Gets the handoff. Here he goes off to the right side, picking up some good yardage, driving forward, still going forward. And we're going to play push the pile here. Forward progress should mark them. All right, number 42, Brandon Doucette. Once again, Doucette the up back Foley, the deep back. Looking to pass, it's complete to number 14, Foley. Oh, he hurdles him right to the 40. Beautiful pass that time as uh, Jared du Dupree rolled out to the right and find, found Foley coming out of the backfield for another nice game. Nice execution, nice design, Linfield. But uh, Ainsby knocking on the door. Once again, set the up back. Foley the deep back behind uh, Dupree. Foley looking to pass. He's going to throw down field. And it's going to be intercepted. Intercepted by the Linfield Pioneers. Sullivan inside handoff this time. A good hit at the line of scrimmage. And that time the Indians. Uh, Kevin Lee stacked up. On Moss, as they would say. Number 40. signals. Dupree looking to pass this time. Get some protection. Rolling out here to the right. He's going to keep it. Coming around the right side and out of bounds. Very close to the first down. We'll have to see where the uh, referee spots this one. Yeah, going to give him a first down. First and ten.
Holding back is Doucette. Hand off to Doucette. Right up the middle. Doucette again breaks a tackle off the right side. Loose Loose ball. Doucette on the carry. Indians recover. Check that, folks. It was a fumble, and Linfield did recover. From their 43. Ooh. It does hurt. Sullivan. Sullivan looking to pass again. Sullivan's going to hear it out. This guy has an arm down the middle, and nice. incomplete again. Some great defense down there. Number 14. Excuse me. Ryan Foley and 24. Ronaldo Ma- Malis uh, on the defense for the Indians. Field fans, but these numbers are extremely difficult to read. Good kick by Scanlon. Scanlon drives it in and picked up by Lynch. Oh, it is a hit. Oh, tremendous shot that time by number 27 for the Indians, Doug Mass. Doug Massey. Looking to pass, rolling to the right, looking downfield, fires and almost Broken picked up. off, but a good uh, defensive move again by the Indians. Number 16, Nolan Goon out there. Doucette over there as well. Version is sorely needed. Scanlon split out here to the right end. Dupree looking to pass. Oh, nice block that time in the backfield. The pass is complete to Foley for a first down. Nice play. Beautiful play. A tremendous block that time by number 27. Doug Massey. Doug Massey. Picked up that blitzing backer. Put him right in the ground. Foley in the slot. Dupree passing over the middle. It's and complete open. to number nine. Dip Pat Scanlon. First down for the Indians. So a big pass play that time. Dupree to uh, Pat Scanlon. And off to nobody this time. Keeper. Scanlon, and he's hit from behind by number nine that time again, uh, Pat Scanlon. Pat Scanlon's been all over the field tonight. Sullivan, uh, handoff inside again this time. Lee again. But this time there's a host of fighting Indians that take him down. On the door again, in motion goes number 10, Knee. Hand off to Knee around the left side. Knee is hit, breaks one tackle, breaks two tackles, and then is simply engulfed by a bevy of Indians. And 
Sullivan again. Hand off to Rourke. Rourke is hit in the backfield and is piled up. Great stop there. Did not make it. Brad Kelleher split out here to the left side. Dupree, blocking signals, in motion, handoff to the up back. Here comes uh, number uh, 27, Ma Doug Massey. Massey is off to the races. He's gone. 25, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Number 27, Doug Massey for the Ainsbury Fighting Indians. Yeoman work. We've seen them push the pile. Dupree around the right side looking to pass downfield. Two, it's caught by Scanlon. What Out of play. bounds. Nice catch by number nine, Pat Scanlon. In the slot is uh, Foley. Dupree back to pass. Pass over back to uh, number eight, Welch. Welch, oh, is hit up high. Hat. Hit up high and loses his helmet. Dan Welch took a hit that time. And looks like Linfield will take over on downs. Formation handoff inside and hit in the backfield by three Easby defenders led by big number 72 for Kyle the Indians. Kyle that time. On the spread formation. Another hit in the backfield. Turn over. Football. It's picked up. By the Indians, first and 10, covered by number 11. Adam Alfiki that time picking up the fumble on that fumbled exchange. And the Indi Fighting Indians take over with 4.49 left. fought here by the Indians today. Uh, again, I, I was very impressed with some of the offense that they did put together here, Kyle. They managed some really good uh, third down conversions, but they just could not catch a break. This uh, last play here is a perfect example. Looked like they might have recovered a fumble, but uh, Linfield re maintains possession because the ball went out of bounds. So this will be the end of it though with uh, six seconds to go. Hand off to Doucette, right up the middle. Doucette crashes forward, picks up a good strong six yards. <music> Doucette, the long back. Along in the slot is Malis. They ran it up the middle, middle again. Middle go, oh. all the way. Doucette up to the, about the uh, 40. <music> Malis 
in the slot to the left. We set again, the lone back. In motion comes number 14 for the Indians, Ryan Foley. Foley around the left side. Foley on his hus. Foley still He's on his gone. feet. He's going, and he could go Ooh. all the way, but he steps out of bounds. Set back in here in the backfield. Hand off to Doucette, right up the middle. Doucette crashes in and touchdown. Yes. Number 42, Brandon Doucette. Back to uh, number two, D Nick Piscali coming around the left side. The Indians string it out, and again, a nice defensive play. Guess who? Pat Scanlon. You're in an excellent position to win, even though it's early in the first. Hand off to Doucette, Doucette is met at the line, breaks the tackle, still on his feet, going wide to the right side. And a <laughs> Scaling to the left, and the slot is uh, Ronaldo Melis. Dupree looking to pass and heading out for Scanlon in the end zone. Got he it. caught it. What do we got? Touchdown. All right. We have a new quarterback in here, number 11. Uh, Nick Cal Calvani. Alfiki coming over and read that play nicely. <laughs> Quarterback sneak, Dupree right up the middle, they has enough it. for the first down. To the right, number 14, Foley in motion. Dupree with the ball, he's got to keep it. Dupree to the outside, he could go all the way. Touchdown, number seven, Jared Dupree. Let's see if the Indians can convert here. And they do. Another sneak. Scanlon again addressing the ball. Another scribbler out front, and that may be a uh, onside kick. Let's see what they do. Yes. The Indians get the ball back as. Scanlon split out to the right. In motion comes uh, Malis. Doopy's going to fire it down. A beautiful oh. catch. One handed by number 14. Field. 
in motion comes D. Pasquale, and he's hitting the backfield. Still with the ball and a great tackle again. Good pressure by the Indians. Adam Alfiki that time making that play happen. Back this time to Scanlon coming around the left end. He's got some blockers in front of him. Scanlon making a good move. And It's nothing, Doopy's gonna fire down there, Touchdown. wide open is Foley. Foley with a great catch. <laughs> wide open, number 14, Ryan Foley. In motion. And Doopy looking to pass again, coming back over the middle. It's over this time to Welch. Welch is going to be driven down, but very close to the goal line. In the slot. Bayless, and you're right, quarterback sneak, touchdown. touchdown. Spocking signals, in motion goes uh, Sherman. Reverse, oh. coming around the right side, but the Indians are there. signals hand off over the side to Foley Foley going around the left hand he's got a block and almost broke it number 54 out there for the Indians JJ Cherry leading the blocking that time the backfield Doopy looking to pass, he's gonna float one out there to Scanlon, Scanlon's got it! Touchdown. Touchdown! Number nine, Pat Scanlon! On an 18 yard touchdown catch, but we do have a penalty flag. It looks like it's gonna be against the Indians. Another chop block, the third already. Motion goes Foley to the right. Jupy looking to pass. Good block by Doucette. Foley wide open. He's got it. Oh. One on one and he is drilled. That'll do it though for the first half with the outstanding performance so far by the Fighting Indians as they lead the Georgetown Royals 20 to six. And we'll just have to say again, uh, what we talked about with Coach Garen before the uh, game, don't make mistakes, do your job. Things will work out. Uh, the Indians have done a great job offensively so far tonight and uh, both offensive and defensive line has been, I think, superb so far tonight. Well, no, not only that, Frank, but I mean, it's it really is the story so far, uh, winning that battle in the trenches in the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. And that's why Amesbury's up 26 to nothing. Handoff looks like number nine that time, Ryan Sherman. Number eight, I'm sorry. That play was Super snuffed Martin. out by my guy. Kyle Gelsimini that time. 
Wow, Joel Samini, another one who's been, like you said earlier, playing an excellent game. Quality in motion, hand off to Deepest Quality, double reverse, and that one is snuffed out beautifully by Big Nick number Fortuna. 78. Nick Fortuna, what a great play. Read that double reverse nicely, and, and uh, forces a uh, big third down here. Fortuny out here to the left side. Cavielli passed back. Double re Okay, whoa. That was from Nick Cavielli. Adam Elfiki that time blew that play up. Him. This time is picked up by Massey, number 27. Massey breaks through the first part of the line. Massey on the outside. He's got some blocking in front of him. Doug Massey could go all the way. Touchdown, number 27. That was about a 60-yard run back that time by... Caught it right about at the 45, so of Georgetown. So there must have been a, a hold that negates the long, uh, the long touchdown. The Indians respond. Doucette, the lone back in motion comes uh, Massey again. Hand off to set There he goes up the middle, and he's hit down from behind. Number 42, Brandon Doucette once again. This is the way the game started. Doucette. Set the lone back and motion goes fully. Hand off to Doucette again off the left side. Doucette runs into the referee, bounces off two tackles, and is finally dropped. He ran into Dan Welch, too, his own teammate that time, but he made the best of it. In motion this time comes uh, Ronaldo Melis. He ended up to Doucette again. Doucette, it's a fumble. Let's see who's got it. Okay, Doucette up the middle again. Was hit hard, uh, fumbled the ball, but looks like the Indians recovered in the uh, end zone. Full back, full back field in the help. Hand off this time to nobody. Dupree on the keeper on the left side. He's in. Beautiful fake into the line again by Jared Dupree. As the Royals, I think, were looking for Doucette that time as they had a stacked backfield. And Dupree just faked the handoff and ran to the far post. To keep her up the middle in a big hit at the line by the entire Indian squad that time. The 
end up this time inside. If you carry the wow. play is down the field is number 27, Doug Macy. Okay, handoff in the inside. This time battling forward for a good gain. Number 15 again is Prentice. Also with a quarterback, number 18 for the Indians. Adam in corn tree. Those printers spill out here to the far right side. Loose ball again, and it's going to be recovered, I believe, by the Indians this time. And it is down at the bottom of the pile. Number 64 for the Indians, Charles Wright. Back to number 40 again. And again, we do not have that person's number. Sorry about that. He breaks it into the secondary. He's got some open running. Running all the way down. Looks like it could be touchdown. Number 40. All right. Great run by Franco that time. He a little discouraged uh, earlier in the drive with that fumble, but he atones for that and breaks it for a huge gainer and, and six points for the Indians. Their first win of the season, a very convincing win, 40 to six over the Georgetown Royals. And this is the kind of effort that they need to have in order to beat teams like uh, like Georgetown. And this will be such a great confidence booster going in next week to Manchester Essex Rockport, uh, minimizing those turnovers, winning the battle of the field position, the line of scrimmage. We saw the linemen uh, making tremendous plays. I mean, I mentioned Gelsomini's name all night. With uh, with Matsis and Cullen and Turcott, Hill, amazing. Uh, and not only that, but we saw Pat Scanlon all over the field. Turcott just uh, just really amazing. And then uh, Brandon Doucet with uh, huge play after huge play in the running game, really exploiting the going between the tackles. And uh, we mentioned it before Jared Dupree with his best game of the year with the, the, the protection that he had, being able to ex, uh, exploit that vertical passing game and uh, making some very big plays for Amesbury. And they got off quickly tonight and were able to maintain that lead. And defense forced uh, some turnovers and everything looked good for the Indians tonight. Jesse Dumanian and his parents, Lisa and Mark Dumanian. First and 10 for the Indians from their own 45. Handoff to Foley coming around the left side. Foley's got some blocks. Foley prints forward and picks up a nice 10 yard gain for a first down is. Recalling signals in motion goes uh, Malis. Malis cuts through the right side. Some good blocking again, and Malis drives forward for another first down. For uh, 
Stupid calling signals in motion. Handoff up, up the middle to Doucette, number 42, and Doucette crashes for a strong nine yards. Almost. Scanley split wide left. Handoff coming back to Foley again around the left side. Foley with some blocking, trying to break a tackle. Foley looking One for the end beat. zone, and he's beautiful. Good. Touchdown, number 14. Ryan Foley for the Fighting Indians, and a nice, uh, look like about a 23, 24-yard run. comes Foley, handoff inside again, this time to Doucette, powers forward, and enough for the first down. The bunch. In motion comes Maitlis this time, Dupi looking to pass, fires out here, complete to Foley, right by the first down marker. Placed again by Adam Elfiki. So, uh, as we said, the flu has been going around on the team, and uh, Coach Gannon was going to move people around a little bit. Dupree rolling to the right, looking to pass, fires deep down to Elfiki. He's got it! What a great catch! Adam Elfiki right at the goal line. Off Whoa. the bench, too, to make that play. That was about a uh, about 39 yards. 39 maybe? yard pass. Signals. Hand off to Doucette inside. Doucette crashes forward and he's in for the touchdown. Yeah, quarterback. Big spread formation here. Two slot receivers, two wide receivers. In motion goes 29. Keeper this time and a beautiful tackle in the backfield that time by Nick Fortuna. Nick Read Fortuna. the play beautifully on that keeper that time. Along with Carter. Carter barking signals. Trying to pull somebody offside. Hand off to number 29 who's hitting the backfield and dropped. Chris Carr. Nick Fortuna mother. again. Tremendous play off the line. Right after these messages with second quarter action. Right number 54, JJ Cherry up over the ball. Dupree gets the handoff, looking to pass over the middle. It's complete to Foley. Foley had one man down. He's going all the way. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, number 14, Ryan Foley. With his second touchdown of the evening, a beautiful play right off the right side. Broke one tackle, back at the little bit past the uh, first down yardage, and just blew one off there that time for about an 80-yard touchdown.
kick is up and it's good. Looking like a pass play. In motion comes number 29. Pitched out on the oh. side and almost picked off. Oh, Dan Welch, number eight for the Fighting Indians was <laughs> looking for that one. Oh, he, he had nothing but uh, green grass in front of him, too. signals handoff up right up the middle number 27 that time AC still on his feet powers forward for a first down great piece of running that time by Doug Macy along the left that left side Slot 14 fully in motion comes 24. Malis, Malis looking for some daylight. Goes to the outside. Cuts back, still on his feet. Powers forward. Another nice piece of running. yard line. Macy the lone back in motion comes slowly. Hand off to Macy inside. Macy looking for the TD and he's going to be in for a touchdown. Number 27 Doug Macy. Kick is up and it's good. Central receivers, one man down here, number five, Jake Rich on the inside. Handoff this time right up the middle, but again, stopped. Beautiful tackle that time. Nick Fortuna again. Number 70. <laughs> Looking to pass again is Cotty, maybe hit from the bind side. Number 11, Adam Ilfiki in there. What a hit that time on the play. <laughs> in motion comes fully. Dupree looking to pass, over the middle, wide open, number 24, Ronaldo Melis, and he's in for the touchdown. Ronaldo Melis, beautiful piece of running that time, and that's about a 47 yard touchdown. Looking to pass out in the flat again, and it's complete and immediately hit and dropped. Brad Kelleher that time making the play. Losing yardage that time. Looks like he lost about. Lone 
back is 29, Carr. Carter looking to pass again over the middle. This time it's gonna be picked up by, it looks like number 20, 17 for the Indians. Still on his feet, going down. Brad Kelleher could go. Still on his feet, Kelleher driving. Tremendous him. return. Finally dropped out of bounds. Beautiful return that time by Kelleher. That was good for about uh, 55 yards. First and 10 from uh, 20 yard line. Doopy hands off to Doucette, right up the middle. Doucette carrying players along with them. Same play. Second and two, this time it's uh, handed off to number 24 and going into the end zone again is going to be Ronaldo Melis for his second touchdown of the evening. They gave the same look that time. As they Here, split out to the right side. <clears throat> In motion comes fully. Hand off to Doucette. Doucette's got the hole looking for some blocking. And Doucette cracks off the right tackle again for about another 20 yard run. in motion, hand off again to number 27, Macy. Macy powers forward for another six or seven yards. In the slot to the left is Melis. In motion comes Foley. Hand off to Foley. Foley trying to get around the corner. Cuts back inside. Looking for Great a block. Move. And he could be in there. Touchdown. Number 14, Ryan Foley. Oh, they're going to be, they're going to bring it back. Oh, well, there may be a penalty here. up a second and 10 for the Indians, negating a 17 yard touchdown. Handoff inside this time to uh, Macy, Macy again and he's again. gone. He's gonna go anyways. So the Indians come right back off the right side and we get a penalty flag thrown down again. So the touchdown uh, is good, but there's going to be a penalty on the play after the uh, touchdown. Go for another PAT, this time number 43, Kyle Martin. Missed only one tonight, so he's got a pretty good average going for him. Kick is up, and this one looks good. And it's good. Carter 
looking to pass again over the right side. He may keep it. He's going to get strung out this time and dropped right at the line of scrimmage. Good pursuit by the Indians. Dan Welch that time not letting Carter go around the edge that time. with fourth and final quarter action. Right over the ball, J.J. Cherry, number 54 for the Indians. In motion comes Foley, handoff is inside to uh, Macy, Macy breaking it almost into the secondary. <laughs> High snap. Scanlon gets off a beautiful kick. <laughs> Hand off inside and met by a host of tacklers that time. Looks like that was Charles Wright that time. Just Water Bean calling signals, handoff inside, and again, good tackle by the Indians. Aaron Sargent, number 60, shed his block and made the play that time as they're... Water being in the quarterback. His hands off to the first back through. He's met at the line of scrimmage, powering forward, but uh, gets into a wrestling match again. Zach Prentice in, in the pile with uh... in motion. Hand off to number eight, uh, Samirian. Samirian's, oh, hit in the backfield and s twisted around. That could have, been a, could have been an ACL right there, but he's up and walking around. And That's going to be the end of this football game with the a Ainsbury Fighting Indians, 47. Manchester Essex Hornets, 14. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ainsbury Community Television's broadcast of AHS Indians football. Tonight's game is between the Ainsbury Indians and the Ipswich Tigers. My name is Frank Grizak, and I'll be doing play-by-play, -play, and alongside me is Mr. Kyle Bruce on color. I spoke to uh, Coach Guerin before the game tonight, and one of the words that he mentioned that uh, the Indians were going to try to uh, deal with is what he called redemption. In other words, to try to redeem themselves from the uh, first meeting they had this year with the uh, Ipswich Tigers, and Ipswich won uh, rather handily. Ipswich scored 33 points against the Indians, but uh, I think the Indians have improved both offensively and defensively throughout the course of the season. Interesting to see how the, ti uh, how the Indians respond. Foley split to the top side. In motion comes Foley. Dupree looking to pass. Rolling to his left. Hits Foley out in the flat. Foley, he's got a nice piece of running here. Still on his feet and driven out of bounds up around the 32-yard line. I thought that was a great design that time. They hit. Looking 
signals. Looking to pass again, rolling this time to his right, under pressure, throws out in the flat, and it's caught again by number 14, Ryan Foley. That was a great play. in the slot, set. hand off to Macy, off the left side, Macy's got some daylight, looking for the end zone, touchdown, number 27 for the Ainsbury Fighting Indians, Doug Macy on a nice 15 yard run. Red formation, two receivers here to the right side. One lone back, pitch out over to the right side and hitting the backfield, but escapes and drives down the left sideline. It was a, almost a tackle in the backfield that time, but he hit. no barking signals. Hand off to 31 inside, and he's going to have enough for the first down. Oh, and lost it. Fumbled on the field, and the Indians oh, recover. Number 31, Charlie Gillis, was hit hard and fumbled, and the Indians recover. So. Set the deep back this time for the Indians. Uh, Dupree still with the ball, rolling right, fires out to Scanlon in the flat. Nice play. That one's good for about uh, 25 yards. Macy and Doucette in the backfield. Pitch back to uh, Macy. Macy's got a little running room, still spinning, drives forward and uh, cracks a nice uh, six yard side. gain. Over. In the slot, Malis. Dupree rolling to his right, looking to pass. Fires down, field caught by Foley, and the referee says yes. he has it. Okay, Foley got one foot, to, dragged it down. Nice catch by Ryan Foley as that time. Dupree led him to the outside. Hand off to nobody. Dupree rolling to his left. Fires way out there. The corner. Touchdown! Number nine. Pat Scanlon, James Bond. James Bond. Touchdown. Beautiful pass play that time. Dupree's looking very, very sharp here tonight, folks. And off to nobody, Dupree rolling left. He's gonna throw it out there, and again, number nine out there all alone by his lonesome, Pat Scanlon. Red formation, one lone back. Uh, still with the ball is uh, oh my goodness Martino and he is Martino dropped for a loss that time Dan Welch just smothered Vinnie Martino and drove him to the ground so
Dupree looking to pass again. Rolling this time to his way. He's going to keep it. Almost hit from behind. Still on his feet going down the sideline. Dupree is finally dropped oh, out of bounds. Hit. And it's going to be a late flag. A nice piece of running by Dupree. I think they're going to say he was out of bounds up around the 35-yard uh, line. No question that was a late hit. Welch tight end on the left side. Malis split right, in motion comes Foley. Hand off to Foley, Foley trying to make the corner. It gets around one defender, jives Ooh. into the out of bounds and I think he may have enough for the first down, very close. looking to pass. Pass is completed over on the right and hit immediately. It's a big hit that time. Number pass was, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say Jesse Dumanian making the play on the, on the uh, far side against Eddie Flaherty. the lone back. Martino blocking signals. Another loose ball. Hand off to Glavin. He's hit in the backfield and dropped. I think that was Charlie Gillis that time and Adam Alfiki made the play. Signals. Mark looking to pass. Martino has got time. He's going to be pressured and he's dropped. Beautiful defensive move that time by the Indians. Dan Welch that time making the big hit along with Nick Fortuna. The top right hand side, Martino rolls out, fires it up. It's gonna be picked up by the Indians. Doug Macy making the play to close out this first half. Well, we have a second here tonight. Uh, tonight's crew on camera, Russ Monroe, Tony Noon, Brooke Gibbis, Bella Salazzo, and directed by Patrick Clifford. So we want to thank them for their continued uh, working of these football games. They've done an outstanding job for us so far this year. And what do we got again? Another timeout by Ipswich Tigers. Martino looking to pass, fires over the middle, it's tipped in off oh. the hands of the intended receiver, number 21, Robbie Glavin. Tipped in there by uh, big number eight, Dan Welch for the Indians. So Macy deep, low, low snap. The Indians are gonna rush this one and the kick is gonna go backwards. And it's going to be down, and it's going to be a first down for the Indians on the Ipswich 24-yard line. signals. Doopy looking pitch back to 27 Macy. Macy trying to cut the corner, makes the corner, gets a block out there by number uh, 54 Macy's for the Indians. 
J.J. Cherry that time. We saw him fired up on that third down, and he made a good block to extend that play on the far side to get some uh, a good gain on first down. And off to Macy. Macy off the left side. Got some daylight. Hits his own man. Bounces inside the five-yard line. Wow. And he's down inside the two. What a run that time. Running into his own man and dragged a tiger inside the five that time. Calling signals. He still has the ball. Rolling right, looking for some daylight. Is hit right at the line. Big hit that time. Dupree may be a little bit slow getting up off of this one. Set. Quarterback sneak by Dupree and. Touchdown. He's in there for the touchdown. Doug Macy down to the two yard line. Going for two. Dupree rolling to his right. Fine Scanlon out there in the flat again for another two point conversion. James Bond with that two, uh, two point conversion. Second time tonight. Yes. Red formation, in motion comes Gillis. Hand off to the uh, inside back and hit. Nice tackle. Rip switch. Flaherty gets the ball again and he's hit from behind. Right about at the one, I think. Grounded out yards here. Third down. Clarity, the deep back. Loose ball again, it's another fumble by Ipswich as the handoff was not there between the center and the quarterback. Fourth and goal from the four yard line. Spread formation here this time by the Ipswich Tigers as they spread out uh, two receivers to both sides and in the slot is number 14, Flaherty. Uh, no, gets the handoff uh, on the outside and gonna be stopped. Nice play. Beautiful play as number 21, uh, Robbie Glavin got the handoff as he was in motion and the Indians bend, but they do not break on this time. Yeah, but you saw Frank who, made, who had the pursuit on, on Glavin, right? I guess it was. You saw who it was. Dun, 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 dun. That's I, right. I won't mention any names. I'll leave that up to you, sir. Yes. A great, great defensive stop that time by the Indians. As they take... Ahead. First and ten for the Indians. Good call though. <clears throat> Dupree rolling to his right. Outside is Scanlon. Scanlon's got the ball and he's going to be brought down up around the uh, 24 yard line. Once again, beautifully executed Scanlon.
Should be blocking signals. Handoff inside this time to number seven. Here goes uh, Doug Macy looking behind him. He could go all the way. Doug Macy, number 27. Beautifully executed play. No flags on the field. Beautiful. Yarn by uh, Macy. That was for about, uh, what, 78 yards. Dupree to uh, Scanlon to set it up, and then Doug Macy all the way. Hand off Macy inside again. again, and Macy cracks over for the two points. Frank, you remember you talked about that word, redemption, and uh, the Fighting Indians are certainly playing with the spirit of a team that had been beaten badly on the road. Jared Dupree, uh, the quarterback, has made some big throws. And the offensive line has done an outstanding 21 job. split up top this time is Robbie Glavin. And Contrady, not no, looking to pass again, right across the middle, it's picked off! Number 24, Ronaldo Macy. Macy still on his feet. Macy breaks a tackle, gets a block. Macy down the sideline. Cuts back towards the middle and is dropped. What a great play that time by number 24 Ronaldo for the Malis. Indians. Ronaldo Melis making that play and he was, got it all the way down to the 10 yard line. Say, and Macy? You did, but it's ah, all right. I'm sorry, Ronaldo. It's all right. carried away. going to hurry up. Hitting the backfield was uh, Gillis, but he didn't get the handoff. Martineau kept it and picked up about a yard on the play. Good pursuit that time by the end. the lone back for the Tigers. Gillis gets a handoff, hitting the backfield, number 54 that time for the Indians. J.J. Cherry. J.J. Cherry, we mentioned his name a few times tonight. He's done a nice job, good pursuit that time. to get it again. Yeah, well, he keeps it. Okay, that was kept that time by Martineau, met by a host of tacklers. Cherry was on the initial hit, and then he was joined by Skylar Hills that time, number 73. And Motion comes uh, Gillis, he gets the handoff and is a hit in the backfield. Nice hit that time by number 24 for the Indians. Ronaldo wow. Malis and Alan, uh, Adam and Contry was there, number 18. Yeah, yeah. Bobby Glavin for 55 yards. Here comes another one. This one will not. 
Yes, it will not travel 10 yards, but the Indians will recover. Number 15 on the ball there for Rainsbury. Uh, Zach, Zach Prentice. Make fielding. Coach Garen firing up the troops here on this fourth down. This is really uh, probably only about the third, really big third down play the Indians have had tonight because they've been able to move the ball. Dupree hands off to Macy. Macy with it. a break into the secondary, still on his feet, drives forward for a beautiful 10, 12 yard gain for Doug Macy to make the first down and to keep the Indians drive alive. Martino whoops, another shot uh, center in, uh, oh, ooh, what do we got here? Is that one behind again? Incomplete that time. Well, that, Dan Welch almost had the, Woo! if it was backwards, he was gonna have a touchdown right there, so. Good pressure up front by the Indians and another loss is that one uh, will go as uh, incomplete, incomplete that time. Hand off to uh, Gillis in the backfield. Gillis has got some room. He's hit, oh. breaks a tackle. Gillis still on his feet, driving forward, loses the ball. And yes. it's going to be picked uh -huh. off by the Indians as Gillis was hit by three Indian tacklers. Number, yes. number nine. Who's that guy, number nine? James Bond. James Bond. Timothy Dalton. Timothy Dalton. The Living Daylights. Again, we've talked about it all night. Redemption. The Fighting Indians get that redemption against the Tigers tonight. Hand off to Macy off the right side. Cuts back and may have a first down. It's going to be close. One thing that we have to say tonight, we want to thank our crew tonight. Mr. Russ Monroe, Mr. Tony Noon, Ms. Brooke Gib Gibbis, and Ms. Bella Salazzo, and Mr. Patrick Clifford for Ainsbury Community Television. Did an outstanding job tonight. Excellent coverage, guys. We really appreciate, and girls, we really appreciate your coverage here tonight. Did an outstanding job. Uh, Coach Guerin, as we said, we used the word redemption. I think he got his redemption tonight. He wanted the seniors to go out on a positive note uh, heading into uh, the Thanksgiving Day game here against uh, the New Report Clippers, which should should end up being quite an interesting uh, contest. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ainsbury Community Television's broadcast of the 2014 Thanksgiving Day Clash between the Ainsbury Indians and the New Newport Clippers. My name is Frank Gerzak, and I'll be doing the play-by-play -play for today's game. Alongside of me is Mr. Kyle Bruce on color. Weather conditions, as you can see, may play a factor in today's game. Both of these teams coming into today's game with uh, relatively identical records. New Report is three and six, and Ainsbury is three and seven. So both teams are looking to make things, to make today's game the highlight of their individual seasons. On paper, they look like a very well-matched contest. Kyle, what are you looking for? Frank, I'm looking for uh, a game in which we've seen the last three contests here at Landry Field. Amesbury get uh, right out of the gate with their running game, with the field conditions being the way that they are today. Uh, it's going to be a test. Newburyport's a club. Uh, the Clippers love to throw. Uh, they're a pass-heavy offense. It's going to put a lot of pressure on the Amesbury secondary, so it's going to be a great game. Okay, we're getting ready for the kickoff here. Amesbury won the toss, toss <laughs> and is going to receive. 
Looking for a new report. Number 10, Jonathan Bachko. And it's a squibbler, an onside kick, and it's going to be recovered uh, by Newbyport, I believe. Did that kick go 10 yards? Oh, maybe not. Let's see what the uh, official is going to say here. First and 10, Ainsby. It did not go 10 yards. Good pickup, Kyle. Uh, we got to look for a little change in the backfield today, as uh, speaking with Coach uh, Guerin before the game. Uh, Doug Macy is going to be at fullback today, and Reynaldo Malis and Brandon Doucette at the halfbacks. So uh, we're looking for uh, something to open up for the Indians. It may be a little bit treacherous out here running on the field. Passing game for both teams is definitely going to be tested. But we'll see. We've got a timeout called on the field. Officials timeout for Amesbury. So no score here. Uh, 9.36 remaining in the first quarter. We will be playing 11-minute quarters here today for the Thanksgiving game. On back again for the report. In motion goes number seven, Green. Hand off inside to 21 again. Cutting back, and Gallo is going to be stopped. Dan Welch that time blowing up that play. This time the Clippers are gonna boom one. Picked up by the up man. Number 17 for the Indians, got a hole up the middle. 17 is oh. going and he trips Brad Kelleher. Number 17 almost broke it. I think he tripped over the captain Travis Motzes that time as he went to cut left because he only had the kicker to beat and he would have been gone but fighting Indians have good field position in Clippers territory. <laughs> Dupree blocking signals. Looking to pass, rolling to his right, being pressured, fires over the middle, and it's complete. Great catch down there by the Indians. Dan Number Welch Number eight, that time. Dan Welch, the tight end for Ainsbury. First down. That was a nice First and 10, handoff quickly inside to uh, 27. Macy, Macy drives forward. Good run on first down, got about six. with the score, Newbyport seven, Ainsbury nothing. Scanlon split to the right. Macy and set in the backfield. Pitch back to Macy, number 27. He's got some blockers, cuts back. Nice cut. Makes a He's nice throw. Macy on his feet. He's gonna be in for the touchdown. Number 27, Doug Macy with a great block that time by Doucette, number 42. Doucette made that play motion. happen. And uh, Macy, you can see it on the video, folks. He had a little trouble slowing down and making the cut back to the inside, but a great piece of running. A nice 22-yard touchdown run by Doug Macy. Number 20 is start, start in motion, handoff inside to 21, Gallo is hit, and it's gonna be driven back, probably got a yard or two forward progress.
Shea in the shotgun still. Uh, Gallo, 21. In motion comes Green again. Hand off inside oh. and a big hit. Brandon Doucette, my goodness. Number 20 and Shea, blocking signals. Pitch again to uh, number 20 and into the end zone. No, gonna be stopped short again. Wow, that was J.J. Cherry that time, saving the touchdown, I believe. They're calling it right at the, just outside of the goal line. Macy and Doucette in the backfield for the Indians. Split up to the top side of Scanlon. Pitch back this time to Macy. Macy looking for some running room. Gets around the corner. Still on his feet. Driven out of bounds after about a nice eight yard gain. one for the Indians. Scanlon split top side. Macy in the slot to the right. In motion comes Macy. Hand off to nobody. Looking to pass. Doopy fires it out there for Scanlon. Yes! A great catch! Down the left sideline. Number nine, Pat Scanlon as Doopy unloaded that one. Beautiful pass and reception. Looking to pass again is Shea. Looking, looking, fires it out there, and it's gonna be knocked out of bounds by number nine, Pat Scanlon for the Indians. The Newbyport Clippers 14, the Ainsbury Indians 6. We'll be back with the start of second half action. Receivers to two receivers to both sides. In motion comes Bajko. Bajko, handoff inside. Pitch back rather the Bajko. Bajko looking for some oh, room and he is Dan tackled. Welch. Number eight, big Dan Welch. Ooh, getting a little chippy out there. Okay, badge call for the kick. Deep is Maylis to the top side, and this one will not go 10 yards as it went off the foot of the kicker that time. Big break. Excellent field position for the Indians. It's so the, the kickoff is muffed. Okay. Maylis in the slot to the left. In motion comes Foley. Looking to pass is Dupree, passes out here to Foley. Foley's got it, looking for some running room, still on his feet, but driven out of bounds after about a seven yard gain. So that'll bring up fourth down and a long three for the Indians. How about a quick slant? Bayless in motion. Doopy looking to pass, here comes the pressure, fires over the middle, it's gonna be! What do we got? Carter intercepted here. Lee Ainsbury is gonna retain possession. 
Crystal will foul, roughing the passer against Newbyport. That'll bring up an automatic first down. Where are we going with this ball? Oh, they're going to add it on from, it must have been a reception, because they're going to put the ball on the 11-yard line. So a big conversion that time. And going. the left side, in the slot, Malis, along with Foley, unbalanced to the left. Dupe looking to pass again. Here comes the pressure, fires, and it's going to be tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Oh. The referee calls it incomplete in the end. Game, but this is, if you coach Garen, you're looking for your defense to make a play here, force a turnover, a quick three and out. Uh, Newbury Shea at quarterback in the backfield, Glasso. Shea looking to pass, looking to pass. He's going to be put on the pressure. He fires it, oh. almost intercepted by number 17 that time, Brad Kelleher. <laughs> Shea looking to pass, he's going to, may run, going to the outside, he's going to be hit, it's going to be yes. intercepted by number 27. Doug Macy. Doug Macy for the Indians. Frank, I said, you need to, in order to stay in this game, you need to have a turnover. Great pressure that time by number eight, Dan Welch for the Indians. Hand off to Macy, he's got some blocking, cuts back to the middle, still on his feet, driving forward. Macy's Tough five yards that time for Doug Macy. Yeah, this might be a play where you'd seen in previous games do set up the middle, but and off to Macy, Macy breaks it to the right, he's gonna go in for the touchdown! Number 27, Doug Macy, some great blocking off the right side that time by the Fighting Indians, and Macy runs it in from about uh, 16 yards out. Great job by the Fighting Indians that time up front. They made New Report pay for that turnover that they commit. And tremendous blocking up front. You gotta give credit to the guys, J.J. Cherry, Max Cullen. Skyler Hills and Macy that time single cut and he was gone. Go start is that double reverse this time to Beach Go Beach Go in the backfield Dan he's going to be hit and he's going to yes. be taken down number eight that time for the Indians Dan uh, Welch. Welch and Brad Kelleher and number seventeen Brad Kelleher. Time running out here in the third quarter, about a minute and 15 seconds to go. Dupe hands off inside and breaking it to the outside on his feet as Macy spins away from one, two tackles and has finally dropped down at the 38 yard line. Big hole up the middle that time by the Indians. Give credit to number 54, JJ Cherry that time, making that play happen as Doug Macy goes right up the gut and Newbyport, 
20. Amesbury 12 will be back with fourth and final quarter action. You may see the lone back. Dupe looking to pass, rolling to his right. He's going to fire, complete the Foley, but Foley's going to be brought down shy of the first down. Little exchange of pleasantries there. Oh, I'll check that, folks. I stand corrected. First down for the Indians. So Foley in motion, hand off to Foley. Foley looking to get around the outside, looking for a block. There's a stiff arm by Foley, he makes the corner. Foley back towards the middle, still on his feet, driving. Inside the 15 yard line, Ryan Foley, number 14. Motion comes fully again. Fully fake the handoff. Pass by Dupree out in the end zone and just over the outstretched fingers of Scanlon. But we got a penalty flag on the uh, field here, right at the uh, goal line. Scanlon a little slow to get up. Personal foul against Newbyport. First and goal, I believe, for the Indians. So let's see where they and spot the Even ball. if it's the 15 yard line, it's gonna bring it down to inside the five, I believe. Half the distance to the goal will be the official call. So it'll be first and goal for the Indians from seven yard line. Back again, Doucette in the slot to the right. Dupe looking to pass, rolling to his left, coming back across the pin, and picked off in the end zone by Bachko. Bachko may be trying to run it out. Let's see what he does. He's going to kneel it down. And play. big turnover that time by the fighting Indians. Top side is uh, Scanlon, Foley, and Malis. Handoff inside, and loose ball. I'm sorry, Macy still with the ball on his feet. Macy Ooh. is hit and dropped again. Nice open field tackle. Looked like he was going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage, but Macy rips off 12 yards. Play. I'm going to predict the pass play here. Foley in motion to the right. Dupree looking to pass again. Over the middle. It's complete to Foley. Foley's got a blocker in front of him. Foley still on his feet. Foley driving forward for the 10, 5. He's going to be in for the touchdown. Number 14, Ryan Foley on fourth down and 22. Unbelievable play. Looking to pass to his right, fires over there, and it's complete. Yes. I believe it's a Foley, Holy. number 14. So a two-point conversion. So was the deep man for uh, Gala, rather, the deep man for the Clippers. Let's see what they do. In onside kick, takes the big bounce, it's a loose oh. football! 
It is a loose football. Let's see what they call here. There's definitely a scramble for this one. Ainsbury signals yes. they have the ball. So the Indians have the ball. Number 42, Brandon Doucette. Yes, he's been silenced today, but offensively, but comes up with the big play of the game. And About a minute and 35 seconds remaining here in this ball game. In motion comes start. Hand off right oh. up the middle and crunched. Shotgun formation again by Shea. Looking to pass again. Throws it out here and it's complete to Badgeco and he's dropped by Scanlon that time. In motion comes start, is that pitch wow. inside? And a big hit that time by number 11 for the Indians, Adam, uh, Adam Alfiki. Wow. Shea's up over the uh, center this time. Take a knee, and that probably will do it. So we want to thank our crew again uh, for the entire season here this year. On the crew today, uh, Mr. Pat Hopkins, Russ Monroe, Tony Noon, and Patrick Clifford in the, in the van. Uh, thank you guys again for uh, an excellent uh, job as usual, and uh, we appreciate working with you throughout the entire season here for the Ainsbury uh, Community Television uh, broadcast of uh, AHS football.